Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a brand new product here. This is from Christian Louboutin. These are his new um, like liquid eyeshadows. They have a very French name, which I'm going to completely slaughter now, but I believe it is pronounced Tap Aloye. Let's see how badly I slaughter that. Tap Aloye. So I purchased four of these from Saks the other day. So I got to play with them a little bit in store, but since I've brought them home, I actually haven't had a chance to play with them. So this is gonna essentially be like a first impressions. So if you're interested in hearing more about this new launch from Louboutin, then just keep on watching. Uh, so Louboutin just released these uh, brand new liquid eyeshadows. There are 12 colors all together. There are six matte colors and six metallic shades. And I purchased, I believe one matte and three metallics. The metallics are just so eye-catching, which I believe tapaloye means. It means eye-catching, it means flashy. Uh, I think a negative connotation of it is that it means uh, like garish as well. So anyway, the metallic shades really, really caught my eye. Uh, so let me just show you the matte one first. All of the matte shades are named after women in Louboutin's life. And the one that I got is Maritza, M-A-R-I-Z-A. It's color number 455. So let's take a look at this packaging because it is over the top like all Louboutin packaging. But here is the liquid shadow. So we have a gold finish top here and then we have a clear bottom so you can see what color you're dealing with. So it just twists open and it's almost like a quill. Oh, but here is the applicator. So it's like a teeny tiny brush. So let me take these all out of the box and then we'll just do some swatches of all the colors that I got. There is Maritza. It's a nice cooler tone uh, beige color. So I thought that would be nice for a matte color. And then the rest that I got are um, metallics and all the metallic colors are named after like uh, mineral semi-precious gemstones. So this first one is carnelian and this has like a very warm reddish kind of copper tint to it. Let's go ahead and swatch this. So there is carnelian really pretty and i'm so glad i got this color now that i played around with the red color in the pat mcgrath bronze seduction palette i'm like on this red kick now this is almost like a liquid metallic version of that color in the pat mcgrath uh, palette and then the next one is it's very difficult to read the name on the bottom of these bottles by the way because the lettering is printed in black so this next one is andalusite and I don't know if you can see it in the bottle, but it has a really lovely green hue to it. So there's Andalusite. And then the last one I picked up is Sapphire Noir. And this is what it looks like in the bottle. Very, very dark. So there is Sapphire Noir. And the base of this basically is just black. That one is so, so pretty. So what I do want to show you guys is this matte color has been on for a while now and it's pretty transfer proof. So I got these in store at Saks Fifth Avenue here at the Fashion Show Mall and I was talking to the sales associate there and she was pointing out how you could mix the metallic with the matte and kind of like create your own color. Um, I think the matte color that I got is a little bit dark for that, but there are a lot of lighter matte shades where you could really do that just to kind of like brighten up like this color for instance. I um, just pulled out two brushes. I have my Sonia G Worker 2 brush, which is my favorite brush for cream eyeshadows. And then I pulled out something a little bit smaller. This is the Wayne Goss number 19 in case I wanted to do something uh, a little bit more precise. But what's cool about these is the applicator, I'm sure you guys noticed, is a little brush. So what I'm gonna do is lay the color down using the applicator and then I'm gonna take one of my brushes and kind of work the product out. So I'm gonna start with the matte color that I got, which again is Maritza. So I'm just sort of like wiping off the excess along the opening of this well, and I feel like this is probably gonna get pretty messy. So before I put this on, I wanna mention, I do have foundation, I do have concealer down, but I didn't powder my face uh, because I wanted to put this down first. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with the applicator and I'm just gonna brush some onto the inner portion of my lid here. 
and I'm going to take my worker 2 brush and start blending it out before it sets down. Ooh, that blends beautifully. And it was just yesterday, right, that I was talking about smoky eyes. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. That's easy. I'm kind of leaving it messy on this end because I'm going to put down a darker metallic shade, but I really like how blown out I got that edge. That was pretty easy. And for this matte shade, it almost has like a powder finish. That's really nice. All right, so which metallic shade should we use? I think I'm gonna use the Andalusite, the one that's greenish. So with this color, I'm gonna make sure that I put down less pigment, uh, because I don't want too much of this since it is very, very deep. So I'm just gonna brush some right there in the outer corner, outer V area of my lid. And I'm gonna take this Wayne Goss brush and blend it out a little bit. I think I may have waited a little bit too long to blend this one out. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more and work a little bit more quickly. And I'm actually gonna take my Sonia G Worker 2 brush again. I don't think this Andalusite shade works very well if you want to kind of blend it out. I feel like I'm picking up the product instead of actually blending it out. So it's not behaving the way the matte does. So I think I have to be a little bit more specific with the placement of this. So I'm just going to brush some onto the brush. <laughs> brush some onto the brush. Dab this on. And sort of pat it down because it seems like when I brush it back and forth it's just kind of like picking up the product which we don't want mm, that is pretty though god look at that green and then I'm going to try the uh, Wayne Goss brush and just barely brush up against it just to kind of blend it out. Oh, I like that. I think there's a little bit more of a learning curve with these metallic shades, at least with this Andalusite, but it's a little bit trickier than the matte. The matte acts like kind of a typical cream shadow where you lay it down and as long as you get to it before it sets, you can kind of blend it out. You can kind of blow out the edges as you saw. But this metallic shade, I feel like you have to be really gentle with it. Otherwise, um, you kind of just, it just starts to kind of like pick up. It starts to kind of ball. So that's why I moved from the Worker 2 brush, which is a much denser brush. It has a bit of a heavier hand, where this Wayne Goss brush is much fluffier. And so if I got to it before it set down and I just used a really light motion, I was able to, you know, lightly blend out this Andalusite color. So these are pretty transfer proof. The only one that seems to be coming up is this black one. And it's just, it's not like it's liquidy in any way. It's almost like it's just the pigment. It's like a powder that's coming up, but these aren't really moving. So I think you could probably use these as like a liner. So maybe that's how I'll use this Sapphire Noir right now. I'm gonna take this um, Sigma small eyeliner brush. It's the E10 brush. It's very, very fine. I don't know if it will actually fit in the well here, but let's give it a shot. It does, but it's quite messy. So I have to really run it off the edge here. Now I'm just going to brush this along my lash line. I got a little bit messy with it. I may have to go back in with the Andalusite color and kind of clean that up a little. But there's that Sapphire Noir down as kind of like a liquid eyeliner. I think it works really well as a liquid eyeliner, but it's a little bit fussy if you want to use like a different brush and you have to kind of go back into this. Let me try just brushing it off of the brush. 
Yeah, brushing it off of the brush helps, but I think it ends up being very fussy if you want to use a separate brush, which is kind of a shame. I like the brush applicator that it comes with, but it's not very precise. And I think because these do dry down, these would automatically make really great liquid eyeliners. All right, so let me go ahead and finish up <laughs> the other eye. I was like so focused on this eye, I kind of forgot that I had a whole other eye to do. Uh, let me do that and I will be right back. All right, so I just did this eye and I can't really tell if they're even. Not really, I think I have a bit more green on this side. So I think my conclusion is that the mattes are much easier to work with. I think they blend out the way you'd expect them to blend out with a brush. You know, they just start to kind of get blown out. They work, they behave, and they, they cooperate. The two metallic shades that I've tried, and I'm pretty sure this one acts the same because when I opened it up, they kind of have the same texture. So there's something about the metallic that makes them a little bit uh, chunkier and gloppier than the mattes. So when it comes to the metallic ones, I think if you want to do some sort of like shading with them, I think it's very difficult. But I think they would be excellent for like a one shadow look. I think they would be really, really awesome for that. The brush, when I was doing this eye, I actually worked a little bit more with the brush in here and it actually works pretty well. You just have to make sure you kind of clean the brush off on the side. So I would clean it off a little bit. I tapped a little bit on and then I went back and really like kind of cleaned off the excess and used this brush to kind of um, blend it out and it actually worked pretty well. So I don't really mind uh, the applicator. I just don't think you can do anything terribly precise. Well, those are my initial thoughts on these shadows. I like the matte, I think that cooperates really nicely. I think the metallic ones are a little bit trickier as you guys saw. So if you guys are interested in me doing a more in-depth kind of like look tutorial using one of these metallic shades as sort of like a one shadow look, like something kind of dramatic, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, I think that would be fun to do. And I think this would be a nice uh, kind of like smoky eye, um, dramatic eye option. But for now, let me go ahead and just finish up my look and I will be right back. All right, so I just finished off my look and I know you guys are gonna ask what I have on my lips. I'll link to everything down below in my description box, but just to let you know, I am wearing uh, one of the Surat Labaton Rouges and this is the one in the color Margot. And I love these products, especially for dark lip colors because on one end you have an incredibly precise cream lipstick and that's all I have on my lips. But if you want, on the other end, there is a powder sponge tip applicator. If you wanna mattify the product or if you wanna make it like longer wearing, you have that option. So these are really cool lip products. I don't know if you guys ever check these out, but check them out, especially again, now that fall is coming, this like vampy lip thing is, what is on my mind. So anyway, here is my final look using the Louboutin um, metallic and matte liquid cream eyeshadows. And I already gave you my thoughts on how I think the mattes are easier to use than the metallics. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.